There's no denying that the Canada Emergency Response Benefit has helped millions of Canadians. Canadians have confidence in this program. It's been a lifeline for many people and has been monumental in our country's efforts to slow the spread of the virus, keeping Canadians safe and supporting our economy. To provide certainty and continuity, we are announcing today that Canadians will have access to an additional four weeks of CERB for a total of 28 weeks. We recently set a minimum national unemployment rate of 13.1% to standardize access to EI regular benefits across the country. This set the eligibility criteria for EI regular benefits at the lowest entry threshold possible. But even doing this, we know many Canadian workers will still not have the hours required to be eligible for EI. That's why we're announcing today a one-time top-up of insurable hours to Canadians applying for EI regular and special benefits. Canadians accessing regular benefits for job loss will receive a credit of 300 hours. And Canadians accessing special benefits, including sickness, maternity and parental benefits, will receive a credit of 480 hours. This means that millions of Canadians will only need 120 hours to access any EI benefit. We are announcing the creation of three new benefits. First, the Canada Recovery Benefit for self-employed workers and workers not eligible for EI in the amount of $400 per week. Second, the Canada Recovery Caregiving Benefit for eligible Canadians who are unable to work because they need to provide care or support for a child, family member or dependent in the amount of $500 per week. And third, the Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit for workers who are unable to work because they are sick or have to self-isolate isolate for reasons related to COVID-19 in the amount of $500 per week. Both the recovery benefit and the caregiving benefit will be available for up to 26 weeks over a one week period, one year period, pardon me. And the sickness benefit will be available for two one week periods over the year. We intend to introduce legislation in the first week of our return to Parliament to create these benefits and ensure that Canadians have the financial support they need.